We're gonna refill the engine oil now on this Cat 314. This will work for any make model of excavator, heavy equipment, uh, you know, all machines. It's a pretty generic video that we're gonna do here. First, we're gonna open the hood. You have to locate the engine fill, which in this case is the top of the valve cover. Some machines, if you're looking at the back of the engine, it'll be on the side. Next, you're gonna take a funnel. You're gonna put it somewhere where it can't tip over. You can put oil in it and not, have, not worry about it uh, falling over and losing engine oil all over everything. Next is the engine oil. Now, in this case, we're gonna use 1540 mineral oil. You can use synthetics depending on the manufacturer. Again, you wanna look into it. Um, some smaller machines call for lighter weight oils. Please uh, verify with your manufacturer specs. When you fill in the engine oil, some machines, for example, a Hitachi 75, if you fill it up too fast, it will dump a little bit of engine oil into the intake system, which will cause catastrophic failure when you go to start the machine. So if you're worried about it, just fill it up slow, put a little bit of engine oil in, let that oil drain down so it can get all the way down into the oil pan and it doesn't overfill too fast. You can judge how much engine oil is gonna go into the machine by how much oil that you pulled out when you drained the engine oil. If you're unsure, if you're worried about getting close and you don't wanna overfill it, Locate the engine oil dipstick. Every machine has one. This one is right here. You pull it out. You want to wipe it off first. Don't read, don't take a first reading because it could have some old engine oil on it from when you drained it. In this case, it looks like there's an H and a line right there. We don't want to go any higher than that line. That's the high mark. Down here is an L and a line. That's the low mark. We want to make sure we're definitely in between those two lines. I'd like to be quite higher up closer to the H line. You can see here, there's engine oil here. We're on the line and you can see it actually goes up to right here. So we know that we're definitely within the range, but we wanna bring it up to here. So I'm gonna add a little bit more engine oil. Keep adding oil until you're sufficiently at the high mark. We do not wanna overfill it. Still needs a little bit more. I don't wanna overfill. I'd rather check it 10 times than go too full. As you can see now, it may be hard to see on the camera, but I'm right in the middle there. If I, maybe if I turn it, you can see some of the sunshine on it. And if we turn it over, right in the middle is where that high mark is. We don't want to add any more. But remember, we just changed the engine oil filter. When we start this machine, that engine oil filter is going to fill up and it's going to take some of the oil out of the engine. So next, we're going to start the engine. We're going to let the engine oil fill up. We're going to check for leaks. And then we're going to double check our engine oil. And most likely, we'll have to top it up a little bit more. Make sure you put the engine oil dipstick back in and make sure you remove your funnel and put the engine cap back on before starting the machine. Next, we're gonna start the engine. We gotta get that engine oil filled up, or the engine oil filter filled up with engine oil so that we can take an accurate reading. But first, we're gonna start it. We only need to run it for five to 10 seconds. You may hear a buzzer come on, that's okay. In this case, no buzzer came on. What that buzzer is telling you is that there's low engine oil pressure. It'll stay on until the engine oil filter is filled up and it creates engine oil pressure. It's okay, you don't have to worry about it, that is very normal. Now that we know that the engine oil filter is full, we can take an accurate reading of the level of the engine oil and we can top up if necessary. Now that we put it back in, we can definitely see our engine oil has come off the high level mark. So we're gonna put our funnel back in and we're gonna add a little bit of engine oil. Very important that you have a clean funnel when you put it in. Otherwise when you pour the engine oil in, it takes the contaminants that are in your funnel and puts it into your engine. Now you can see I'm pretty sure it's a little bit dirty from, from running it. We're right just below that high mark. That's more than sufficient. If your engine's a little bit older, has a small engine oil leak, or it burns a little bit of engine oil, 
you know that you have lots of volume from the high mark to the low mark and that you're safe to run it and not worry every 10 minutes that the engine oil is running low. Make sure we put the dipstick back in. We pull our funnel out. We put our engine oil fill cap back on. And we can close the hood. And that's how we successfully change the engine oil on specifically a Cat 314E, but it'll work for all other makes and models the same way.